What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Your truly Darius Spells in the building with you again today. Let's make some noise. <laughs> hey, yo, check it out. Today, I'm going to give you the seven different types of food businesses you can run. So I need you to pull out your pen and pad and write these down. And I'm going to give you the different types of food businesses you can make money from. Number one, dine-in. The dining provide customers with a sit and eat in experience inside of your establishment with the takeout and delivery option. That's the dining. Number two, food trucks. Say it again. Make sure I didn't. I didn't know you were coming. I'm sorry. No, you can't get. I just you had just started me. I heard you in the microphone. Okay, guys, let's start on one more time. Let's get it right. All right, five, four, three, two. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Your truly Darius Spells in the building with you again today. Let's make some noise. <laughs> and today, I'm going to give you the seven different types of food businesses you can run. Now, I need you to take out pen and a pad and write these down. Number one. Dine-ins. Dine-ins provide customers a sit-in and eat experience inside of your establishment with a takeout delivery option. That's the dine-in. That's how the Red Barn set up. We are set up as a dine-in establishment. Number two, fast food quick serve restaurants. Fast food quick serve restaurants provide customers with a drive through only experience for placing and receiving their food orders. If you're in Shreveport, you know in a place called Southern Classic Chicken. <laughs> That's a fast food quick serve restaurant. Uh, number three, food truck. Basically what a food truck is, is a mobile vehicle that you cook food on. Simple as that. Number four, food trailer. It's the same thing. But the difference between a truck and a trailer is, is that you have to pull a trailer. So if you buy a trailer, you will have to get some type of truck, some type of vehicle to pull your food trailer. All right. Number five, catering. Basically, catering provides customers with a food service at a remote location. Nine times out of ten, you cook the food at a commissary and you bring it to a particular location. You ever seen people who do who cater weddings? You go out, you cook the food off ca off premises, then you bring it on the premises and serve it. Catering. All right, number 6 is the ghost kitchen. All right, the ghost kitchen provides the restaurant owner a professional food preparation and cooking facility set up for preparation of delivery only meals. Now, you can go to the ghost kitchen and pick up your food, but it's made to literally make the orders and a third-party delivery service will come pick them up and deliver your food. And then the last, number seven, franchising. Franchising provides the restaurant owner the opportunity to buy into an existing business. Now, franchising, it's a lot that goes into franchising, but if you want to go into a money-making machine and you want to buy into a brand that's already in existence, then the franchise model is where you want to go. And you know I got to plug Red Barn. We are franchising. So if you need that best tasting crawfish in, in the city that you're in, make sure you tap in. But that's the seven tips on how to Make food in make money, excuse me, in the food industry. I need you to like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you got any questions you need me to put on, I got you. Until next time, I'll see you again.